Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to the Jeep. Today we've got some running around to do. So that's why we're starting here. I've got some things I want to talk to you about. We've got some business to attend to. So jump in, buckle up, and let's get going. So like I said, our first order of business today is to make our way over to Disney Springs. So that's where we're headed now. We're going to be parking in Orange Garage. Yes, Team Orange Garage, at least for today. And, um, and then from there, I've got a list of things that I'd like to try and accomplish, including going over to the Ticket Center because I have some questions. I've got, I've got to make some updates when it comes to my annual pass. My annual pass is about ready to be renewed. So that's one of the things we're doing today. It's one of the reasons we're here at Disney Springs. And I know some of you like to wander around Disney Springs. So I figured let's take this opportunity to do just that. Now parking here at Disney Springs is free, which is nice. Some people want to park here and then go to the parks. I don't think that that's a good plan just because of timing. It doesn't really make sense. We can talk more about that some other time, but even though you can get free parking here and then make your way to the theme parks and whatever using Disney transportation, it just, it's way too much time. I don't think that this is the way to go. More on that some other time. All right, looks like we can get parking right here by the front, which is nice. Let's pull in, get ourselves situated, and then uh, we'll head in. All right, here we are. An empty Disney Springs. I mean, it is first thing in the morning, but I wanted to come here early because like I said, I wanna try and get some issues resolved. And if I can pull off not having to wait in order to resolve an issue, that's just like, perfection in my opinion so get here a little early might have to just wander around and hang for a bit but i'm totally down with that of course getting here as early as i did today probably not necessary still got about just over 30 minutes before most things open up here at disney springs but you know i knew we'd be hanging out chatting we have a lot to talk about speaking of which let's find a place to sit down and uh get caught up all right, so as some of you who have been following along on the community page for updates and whatnot might know, yesterday I posted that Russ and I recently celebrated our 18th anniversary. By the way, thank you to everyone who wished us a happy anniversary over there. It was a happy anniversary. We had a great time. We actually took some time off, which is why here on the channel, you may have noticed that we posted some videos that aren't necessarily about current events. They were all recorded ahead of time so that we didn't leave you guys hanging while we were away. Also, we haven't had a chance to get back to everyone's comments as of yet. So as I sit here with you right now, I've got a whole list of people that I need to respond to, but hopefully by the end of the day and by the time you're seeing this, I will have gotten to most of you. The long and short of it is that not only did we have a wonderful time celebrating 18 years together, but it was also a much needed break. So we just took a breath, recharged, and now we're ready to hit the ground running, which is basically what we're doing now. And with that said, there are a lot of topics that I want to cover, some things that kind of came out in the last week while we were away that we need to talk about. We might talk about some of them today, at least touch on some of them, but we're not going to get to absolutely everything. Don't worry though, we are going to talk more about everything that happened in the future. If there's something you really want to hear us talk about though, pop it in the comments so that we don't forget about it. But anyway, now that we're back and we're digging into all of the stuff that we set aside for the past week, I wanted to make sure that we could see sit down and cover a few things. Some things I just wanna get out of the way, okay? I'm just gonna be completely honest with you. And quite frankly, some of those things, a little bit negative. Yeah, we're getting into some real talk today. And I'm gonna start off for the most part with that because I wanna end on a high note. I try to keep it light and positive here as often as possible. And sometimes that means that I get to the negative stuff right at the end and that just has everyone feeling icky. So today we're turning it on its head and we're gonna talk about that negativity first. With that said, I think we've been sitting here long enough. Let's wander around for a bit, start this conversation and then uh, we'll come back here in a bit. We, got, we have plenty of time, so let's go. All right, first order of business today, I want to talk about a comment that I got regarding the new show that is happening over at Epcot. You know the one, Forces of Nature over in World Celebration Gardens, it's got the acrobats. We recently posted about this and someone commented that they weren't happy with the show because 
it is vulgar. In a nutshell, they said that there's no way that they could bring their family to see this because the women are too scantily clad, they're showing off parts of their body they shouldn't be, and it's just a vulgar performance. And to that I say, we shouldn't use words that we don't understand. Now, I realize I may have come off a little bit strong there, but honestly I have some pretty strong opinions about this, and I've never been shy about being honest and sharing my opinions. And you know, you shouldn't be either. Of course, everyone's entitled to their own opinion and I always welcome differing opinions here on the channel. I don't want anyone to feel like they can't share their thoughts, but I also get to share my thoughts. And when it comes to calling performances like this vulgar, I got a lot to say. Of course, for the sake of time, I'm not gonna go into all of my feelings about this. Goodness knows we could be here all day, but I will say this. While we all have different likes and dislikes and we all have different things that are a bit too much for us, forcing someone else to bear the burden of our own preferences is never the way to go. Now I watched the show live. I was right there. I filmed it and watched it multiple times when editing the videos that I shared not only here on the channel but also over for the channel members because channel members have access to the entire show uncut. And I can tell you very confidently that there is nothing inappropriate in any way, shape, or form about this show. In fact, you might argue that the people performing in the show were actually more covered than some guests that wander through the park, certainly more covered than anything you'd see at the beach or a water park. So that said, if it's not for you, that's totally fine. If you're uncomfortable watching this type of show with your family, with your husband, with your kids, that's totally fine. As I mentioned, everyone has their own limits when it comes to what they're comfortable with and what they're not comfortable with, and that is fine. But I'm a firm believer that our personal preferences are our responsibility, within reason of course. But this show isn't vulgar, there's nothing about it that isn't family friendly. Creating this narrative that honestly has no weight is giving Disney another reason to remove something that honestly enhances the park. It's something that's always been at the park. There have been acrobats at Disney since the beginning. Nonetheless, let's move on from this because I've had enough and I think that it's about 10 o'clock. So let's make our way back over to that ticket center. See if we can get ourselves squared away. Also, as we make our way over, I probably say this every time we wander through Disney Springs, but my God, does it smell good. There are so many delicious foods cooking right now. I have lunch planned at home, so we're not staying for lunch, but my God, it smells good. We are gonna get a snack before we head out though. I uh, got plans. I'm not gonna tell you what yet. I'm just gonna have to wait, but it's a limited, limited time treat. I do want to give it a shot. Russ said, I don't want to try it. So I said, all right, you don't have to tell me twice. If you don't want to try, I don't have to share. Sounds good to me. But anyway, as we keep making our way down this path toward guest relations and that ticket center, let's get into that next not so magical topic that I wanted to discuss. Don't worry, only two of them today. This is the last negative thing that we need to discuss. And this one is about the way that we chat with each other actually. And yes, we've had this conversation before and we'll probably have it again, but every now and again, some of you need a reminder. So that's what we're gonna do today. Right after we step in to the Disney Ticket Center, Let's see if we can get ourselves squared away. Okay, I just wrapped up things over at the Ticket Center and how weird that experience was. I, I needed to adjust some address situations um, and I, I think it might have gotten resolved, but I'm not sure that it was resolved. Um, I renewed my pass, so that's good, but technology in the My Disney Experience app is always so complicated. More complicated than it needs to be, and um, the cast member was helpful, I think, for the most part. Um, but yeah, weird. Sometimes. Sometimes. Um, yeah, I think I think it's I think it's done, but it might not be. So <laughs> we'll see. Anyway, back to the conversation that we were having about communication. Like I said, one more negative thing before we move on. Um, I feel like every once in a while someone needs a reminder. There's always one person who needs a reminder that I'm just a human. 
I am just a human person. And while we have conversations here and we discuss a lot of things here, and I'm so happy to answer every single one of your questions and be here to help you create the best vacation experience possible, I also expect that you're going to show respect when you're chatting to me and to other people who are on the channel. Pretty simple thing to ask for, and it's a pretty fundamental expectation here on this channel. I know sometimes we wanna be quick and we wanna ask our questions super quick, we wanna say something super quick, just get our point across, but we're gonna do it with respect or one of two things is gonna happen. I'm either going to not answer your question because you gotta give a little something to get a little something and respect is that little something or I'm gonna block you. There's already plenty of negativity in the world. We don't need any more of it and like I said, I'm human, you're human, we're all human. Sometimes we make mistakes, which is why I'm saying this, so we can correct those mistakes, but everyone has their limits, including me. So make sure that you don't take advantage of my cheery disposition, because while I'm always nice and I aim to be nice, it's also important to realize that I live by roadhouse rules. Be nice until it's time to not be nice. Okay, with that out of the way, let's enjoy the rest of our day. And we're gonna start the rest of our day, the rest of our adventure here today by making our way over to Sprinkles, a place that we very rarely go, but we got a cupcake I want to try. So let's give it a shot. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. A sprinkle Sunday. That looks delicious, but that's not why we're here today. No, we've got other cupcakes on our mind. All right, I actually got two cupcakes, which means I'm not gonna just sit here and eat both. I will bring one home to Russ, and by one, I mean half of each home to Russ, because they had two flavors that I wanted to try. The first is a berries and cream, and then the other one is a matcha and yuzu, and I am a sucker for yuzu, so had to get two. Both of these cupcakes today cost me $14, which is a lot for cupcakes, but Sprinkles cupcakes are actually really good. So what are you gonna do, you know? Look at these. Now I'll admit, they don't look like much, but Sprinkles cupcakes don't really look like much. They taste good though, and that's what's important. So I'm gonna try each of these cupcakes while we discuss some other topics that I wanted to discuss with you. I said we were ending on a high note, so not a ton of negativity, even though we've talked quite a bit about some negative stuff. But you know what? It just, it is what it is. Sometimes when you're catching up, you're doing an update every now and again, you gotta talk about the good and the bad. So anyway, just taking a second to refer to my list of things to discuss before I actually take a bite of cupcake and completely get off track. Talked about that, talked about that. Oh, okay, lots of updates have been happening, by the way, at Walt Disney World. There have been updates about Magic Kingdom. Star Tours got an update. We have some information about some stuff at Epcot that's going to be opening up, specifically Communicore Hall and or Plaza. I have to check my notes in terms of what exactly is opening up and when, but it's soon. I think it's in June, which is really exciting. But the thing that I'm most interested in discussing with you today, just because I wanna hear your thoughts, we're gonna go into this more in depth here in the future, is the update to DAS, or the Disability Access Service, here at Walt Disney World. Now, DAS, the Disability Access Service, is one of those things that most people probably don't even know about it. Most people don't have to concern themselves with, but for those of you who do, it's an important thing to know about. By the way, we're starting with berries and cream. It smells amazing. Let's take a quick bite. It's very drippy. Oh my goodness. Now DAS, in a nutshell, is for those who have disabilities that make it difficult for them to wait in a traditional Q. This is not for people with physical disabilities. It is for people who have medical conditions or other disabilities that struggle with that weight in a traditional queue. And like I said, we're not going to get into a ton of details here today. I'm just really talking about this because I want to 
hear your thoughts for when we talk about this more in depth later. But the system is very flawed, at least to date. People who don't really need it take advantage of it, and changes need to be made. This probably doesn't come as much of a surprise to anyone who's used DAS in the past because it's, it's a flawed system. Holy moly, this cupcake. Anyway, I'm saving half, putting it away. We'll try that other one in a second. Now, Disney has made tweaks to the system in the past, but they just announced that they're going to be making a big change to the system. Now, among other changes, which like I said, we'll get into some other time, Disney is now saying that DAS is for guests who due to developmental disabilities like autism or similar are unable to wait in conventional queues for an extended period of time. And this is an interesting change. Because up until this point, DAS never singled out a specific disability or medical condition, but now it's very specifically for those with developmental disabilities like autism or similar. And this, I think this is a problem, mainly because DAS is a huge help for more than just those with developmental disabilities. There are many people out there who relied on DAS, who have medical conditions or other disabilities that make those traditional waits in a queue very difficult, and in some cases even dangerous. And so the shift away from talking about disabilities and or medical conditions in general, specifically toward developmental disabilities, I think it's alienating an entire group of people who need DAS and rely on DAS in order to have a good vacation with their families. Now, like I said, we're going to talk more about this in the future because I really want to dig into the policies of DAS and I have some questions that I want to get answered and I haven't had those answered yet, but I want to know what your thoughts are here. I do agree that DAS needed to be updated. I do think that some of the changes that are being made to DAS are welcome changes, but it's the language of who DAS is for in particular that really bothers me because, well, Honestly, I know people who need DAS who don't have developmental disabilities. It's due to other medical conditions that they utilize the service. So I don't know, I got a lot of thoughts, got a lot to think about. Until then, it's time to try our next cupcake. This is the matcha cupcake with yuzu. I love matcha and I love yuzu, so let's give it a go. Hmm. There's the inside of that cupcake. Excuse my fingernail polish, by the way. Honestly, I didn't even get myself situated. I just ran out of the house this morning. But this doesn't have the flavor that I wanted it to. I'm not sure where the yuzu is. It's still a good cupcake. Certainly not complaining, but that berries and cream one is where it's at. All right, we've got our bag with two halves of a cupcake. Now it's time to make our way out. Honestly, I think Sprinkles is a solid eight out of 10. They always have really good cupcakes, even though some are better than others, they are pricey, but this isn't like your standard Disney cupcake. This is a really good cupcake. And it takes a lot for me to say that because generally I'm team skip cupcakes because they're overrated, but Sprinkles, Sprinkles is really good. Now in terms of what else is coming to the channel, there's a lot. I, like I said, we're hitting the ground running. There's a lot that we need to talk about. There's a lot that we need to do. And today, in fact, after we wrap things up here, we're headed home to get a bunch of work done so that we can head back out later tonight. Because we have to make our way over to Hollywood Studios to check out the updates to Star Tours. And then we're definitely gonna have to go to Epcot because there's festival stuff that we wanna check out. And we have to check out the wall situation. Yes another wall update who knew so that's on our list of things to do as well and i mean we're just getting started because there's stuff we need to talk about over at universal there are foods we need to eat there are drinks we need to try so i hope you're ready this is going to be a really interesting well i was going to say a couple of weeks but things moving forward are going to be interesting we also have to dig into some travel related topics because i don't know if you've noticed but things have been a little bit weird in terms of crowds recently. Just the other day, Magic Kingdom was at capacity, which is so odd. We normally don't see Magic Kingdom reach capacity all that often, and when it does, it's usually during a major holiday, not a random Thursday. And I'll tell you what, I have theories as to why that's happening, and I think, even though they're just theories, I think that those theories might help you be able to plan future vacations? Maybe? I don't know. I don't like to dabble in that type of thing but I'm happy to share some theories. So stay tuned for that. But for now, I think it's time to make our way home. Those cupcakes, I have to have Russ try them.
He has to try that berries and cream. It is just too good to not share. See, I do love him. But anyway, thanks so much for hanging out with me today and catching up on all this stuff that we have caught up on. I'm looking forward to seeing you in our next adventure. So don't miss it. Hit that subscribe button. Also, take a second, hit that like button. It not only helps me know what you like, but it also helps YouTube know that you like what we're doing and that other people might like it too, as it turns out. So hit those buttons. Um, and yeah, have a great rest of your day. I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.